If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello YouTube, this is T1 Glistener Elf, along with... Robert Van Hassan. Alright, and you are rocking... What deck is this? I love your voice. Um, uh, Non-targeting motherfuckers. Um, which, really no, it's Gene Words. Okay, well, uh, let's take a look at what you have. Um, this is a more interesting version, I guess you could say. Okay. Um, so first off, we have the husband and wife. <laughs> um, Baron and Baroness. A lot of people I see like playing 3 and 1. I like this category because there are some times where a back row is very suspicious. Sure. And, and I do play some back row hate as well, so... I gotcha. There's nothing really much to say. Um, this might seem weird, the only other spear I play right now is, uh, two crane. Oh, okay. Because, one, this can be summoned off of these guys ignoring the summon condition. Sure. I don't play Nikatama now, because I just... There's some cards I don't want to take out for this deck. But I will think of the... I'll think about it. I have bad English, that's... That's kind of why. That's okay. And then next we have our ways to go and get our Ritz. We have Maju. Yep. Um, Manju. Whatever. It doesn't... This really needs no explanation. It's Manju. You're playing Ritual deck, you must play it. Pretty much. And now for the... For the removal, I guess, right? My... One of my... Just a very good engine. Kaiju. So, two... Two of Gimesi? each of the level eights, yeah. basically. Okay. Um, I never remember how to say his name, but... Uh, Game of Seal. Game of, okay, Game of Seal. And two... This is really honest. Interrupted Slumber so, is basically a... Two Godzilla, two Mothra, and two... I'm uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Two Dinosaur. Yeah. Um, these are very good, because Slumber is a very broken card. These are level 8, so it works with trade-in and material for these guys. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, it's basically the biggest... Um, one of the big engines of... Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion, ever. So, but. are you running any copies of, um, can't remember the name of it, the spell that gives you and your opponent uh, oh, yeah. kaiju each? Oh, we just haven't gotten to it yet? Yeah. So, sneak preview. And finally, my favorite part of this deck, because I barely ever use my normal summon, one matches and two vanities. Okay. For some decks, these are, like, super hard to beat. Or for others, they're, like, pieces of cake. Oh, gosh, yeah. Vanity's Fiend on the on the play yeah. is uh, it's pretty Plus brutal. That can do a lot of damage, and then tributing one of your monsters with Vanity Fiend. Mm. To some, that's basically GG. Oh, yeah. But that's... As but a vanity player myself, I agree a hundred percent. Oh yeah. That's all the monsters, and for the spells, of course, it's a ritual deck. Um, one of the best plus ones in my opinion ever. Sure, pre preparation. Pre prep. It's nothing really needs to be said. If you can play this card in any deck, you must play at three. And the card we search for is three Shinobu's calling. Okay. Really, another card we're not. Really doesn't need any explanation. Oh, there's slumber. And yeah, uh, we play three dark hole. <laughs> great. Um, with a special summoning attached sure. to it. Um, yeah, just if you're playing kaiju deck, you basically have to play at least two. Maybe the best or like what second best removal in the game right now. Um, I I don't know, really. I mean, it can be sought with Solemn Warning, so that's the tricky part. That's right. It doesn't but, target, it gets past, can't be destroyed, yeah. stuff like that. My Plus, body. um, just a quick disclaimer for anyone watching. If you chain Vanity's Emptiness, everything will be destroyed, but the special summoning doesn't go through. Oh, okay. Good uh, to that's know. something I learned, and through MST, because I'm a poor man, I don't have Twin Twister. And... Yeah, it's just basically, if you don't have Twin Twister, this is the best option. Yeah, I guess for some decks, it can be better. Like, if you're not using your great your discard for much. Yeah. And finally, 3 trade him, because draw power is nice. Yeah. And finally, Upstar and Raigeki, because 39 card decks for the win, and Raigeki is Raigeki. Patrick Hoban, we love you, bro. Yeah, we love you. Exactly.
And just, I actually play a good few traps, but I do have an explanation for it all. Okay. Uh, for the traps, one urgent ritual and one skill drain. Skill drain is because these are big, beefy monsters. Oh yeah. And everyone just flip this up and just keep on poking. And urgent ritual, I don't bumping up this to two, but at times I see it way too much, okay. even at two. And but yeah, just this helps opponents plays of sure. either back row or front row. Fair enough. Um, two drowning, we play spirits, <laughs> and two drowning. this is oh, yeah. easily the best mirror force card right now. It, that's if you don't have any mon- if they're attacking directly, yeah, exactly. and it just shuffles them off. And my- one of my honest favorite Tekkens, for some unbreakable negation, to Providence. Oh, okay. Because I do play multiples of every spell, trap, monster. This is a, uh, top three art in the game for me, actually. I'm a- I'm a huge fan. All of the things being equal, it's obviously a good card, but that art is gorgeous. Yep. And... And for examples, you can either... If they try to write Geki, you're either Vanity's Fiend or Magi's Fiend. You can either discard this, sure. and it works with Urgent Ritual, because you can also banish from the graveyard. I or gotcha. with Interrupted Kaiju Slumber for a next turn search. It is a two for one, and I'm not a fan of that, but... You know, sometimes you just have to, yeah. right? And honestly, for the part that truly doesn't matter, my extra deck, because I really ever go into it, um, as a cheaper way, I play the Spider Engine, because you must use something like okay. Lancelot, for example. So, Seven Sins, Pain Gainer, and Lancelot, Dark Knight of the Underworld. Yep. Fair enough. Okay. I this dig it. Well, you have to use these two to go into Seven Sins. That's right. And the only rank 8 I oh, have... Oh, 7 Sins. I said stars. My yeah. bad. Um, I have no idea why they made that. It's CG's name, but whatever. Yeah. And I don't have uh, Hope Harbinger so far. So as another way, I play one Failgrand. Because okay. it's honestly the second best rank 8, in my opinion. Plus, it just just helps. Sure. So many times. I had this and Vanity Sphine up once. That, that sounds pretty brutal. That and sounds tough to beat. It's not really tough when you think about it. Oh, but yeah, yeah. And just a bunch of good rank for us. Lightning Shadori when we have two cranes. Rhapsody. Sure. Sasuke over here. <laughs> yeah, Rhapsody and Berserk. Rhapsody for like any big Synchro decks if they don't pull off Rebellion because it's a Rebellion basically. Uh, other good staples, Cassell and Emerald. Uh, I'm actually going to leave this one out. Cowboy for game because we can have big damage. Yep. Dweller for any like Parazoics and this is just here because I didn't like. So yeah, yeah, while you're on it, can you can you go into Diamond Crab King? Tell me a little bit about that. Um, it's just really there because of um any big monster I can't really beat over that easily. Okay. Plus it also switch has a Dante effect of switching it to defense mode. Ah, with three thousand defense. Yes. Okay. I admit, that's not one that I remembered. And... The one I've seen in, in a hot second. But this is probably the most important Xyz monster, uh, Samurai. Because this can lead to many, many OTKs. Mm -hmm. But that's very simple. There's yeah, the multi-attacks, that's, yeah. that's pretty good. Finally, Fortress, because I side Cyber Dragon. Oh, okay. Yeah, the extra deck isn't really that important, because I, like, one out of three game... Actually, one out of like six games I ever really touch and think about it. Um, finally, for the side deck, I know this is probably a very long video, but. Oh, you're good, dude. You, uh, you're doing great. Two waifus. <laughs> okay. Uh, two. Maxi. Flying C. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Flying C. I'm yeah, sorry. I don't have I'm so used to seeing Maxi. I yeah. just. Oh, my goodness. The wow. only. The only bad part, especially in Zodiac or any Zodiac variant, yeah. you can summon this on the field, but they can just pop it for a barrage. That's the problem with this card, but it does hurt auto decks, like, uh, if Heroes or ABC doesn't have an out to it. Gotcha. It's kind of, not really game, but it's kind of close. If you had Max C, you would play that? Yeah, instead? I would side that. 2K is on different Infinoid matchups. Okay. Two Cyber Dragon for any machine matchups. Gotcha. Um, 
And you guys can pause if you need to check out some of these. Uh, to Jinzo, because I actually But you don't need to pause on Jinzo, you know what that is. Um, because I do have easy tribute fodder, like I said before, I, I rarely do my normal summon instead, except for Manju. Yeah. Yeah. And this is for like any Paizoic or even Wind Witch artifacts, All right. stupid stuff. Two Dark Call for any Rogue matchup. Sure. For any Magic Spectre matchup, uh, two Concealings. Oh, okay. Um, just... <laughs> I, I'm running out a little bit of breath here. Alright, so... But, oh. ma yeah, it makes it where they can't change their battle positions. I, it's been a while since yeah. I've seen this one. I really want to get the ultis. Yeah. Fair enough. And finally, I just had an extra spot, so Macro, Macro, Macro is okay. a very good option. Good graveyard hate. Plus, yeah. I do have decent draw power, nothing special, but it does get the job done. So, why Macro instead of Dimensional Fissure? Is it just... You can change this to, like, Law Mowing or something. That's interesting. Okay. Because if they, like, for example, if the Nords, if you have... Fissure up, of course, I'm not going to activate something like Raiden, Charge, and obviously, um, Lawn Mowing. Yeah. But if you have this up, and you, I mean, not up, if you, they but activate it, it and yeah. chain it, and especially if they don't have any way to negate it, hmm. you send like 20 cards banished they could have used. And you make it where any future Lawn Mowers don't do anything, since your decks yeah. are now the same size. Plus my graveyard, I rarely ever use my graveyard. And that's the deck. This is just random tokens I have. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my deck. Oops. Nothing much to say. It's not. And how's I've, it been? Uh, oh, sorry. Oh no, you continue. Uh, how's it been treating you so far? It's actually, other than one, actually, other than a few, like I think three. Every match I played, we went to game three. Okay. So I at least won one round in each match for it. Uh, and the question that everybody now nowadays at least wants to know, have you played it against Zodiacs and how's it done there? It's actually, well, um, my buy as a shield does hurt this set because I do play three slumbers, yeah. my Geki. But it's actually been well because I could just Kaiju the Dryden and then go into like Peacock, return the Kaiju. But I know for a fact that's not always going to work in my favor, sadly. So Zodiacs are... Relatively mixed, depends on the hand. It's but tough, yeah. Love to see. Love to see you, Jay. Oh, good. <laughs> Sorry. I know. Yeah, one hand. One hand. One hand. Camera. Okay, well.